Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Edgar. I'm a full-time dumpster diver, part-time thrifter, full-time reseller, and this is how I pay my bills. By the way, I've been taking a lot of pictures today of items that I'm gonna be selling locally and also putting on my eBay store. So maybe I'll show you some of that later on towards the video, but for now, let's go dumpster diving. I got my water. It's really hot outside. So right away, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on in this dumpster uh hopefully we can find the pair to this one it seems to be uh brand new and there's also a whole bunch of bread and uh, monsters they're all sealed apparently like one got damaged so then they have to throw everything away but the rest of them seem to be uh perfect and a whole bunch of clothes right there uh let's start saving So I got my easy pick grabber and there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. Somebody threw a bucket full of baby clothes. It's not broken. Okay, so I took a peek inside this dumpster. I didn't think I was gonna find anything, but I found this and it seems that it belonged to a store. Now, obviously this is not the whole rod, but I find a whole bunch of like curtain rods and sometimes it's missing like one or both. So it's pretty cool that I found some. I can take these and put them on those other rods and then people will most likely buy the, the curtain rods now. So I was able to take all of these. I just need to clean them. I mean, if you get technical, I guess you could take these maybe these but i don't have a screwdriver so I mean, at least i saved part of it so right away next to this dumpster i spotted a mirror it doesn't seem to be broken let's go check it out hopefully it's good and we'll save it okay so the mirror is broken but i found these pots i can use these pots to plant stuff i've been planting um bell peppers beans and other type of flowers and fruits so i think this is going to be very uh, useful for me okay so i wanted to show you this if you haven't seen it yet uh it's right here so i think this belonged to somebody or what's somebody's pet a snake pet uh it died and they just threw it in the dumpster they probably had it in this container since the little thing right there to to drink food or eat it's in there which they also made like a little hose right here um i would consider this animal cruelty to have a snake living inside a plastic container that's nowhere near their habitat their environment so i think it's just sucks and it's really bad that you just threw away your pet instead of burying it i'm a little bit nervous about snakes but even if i had a pet snake i would not do this to him i would not put it in a plastic container and just throw it in the dumpster once it dies that's really sad at least i'm gonna put him in the shade and this is really sad you know that's not right uh, the 
let me know your opinion in the comments. I really haven't looked before, but my friend used to find badass shoes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, good luck. Good luck. Alright, I was just like checking things in there, and then this guy and his wife come up to the dumpster and <laughs> just kind of like take over, sort of. Uh, I don't know. I just wouldn't do it. Okay, so I got a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie. I was diving and then this car pulls up next to the dumpster parks there. The man gets down. He doesn't tell me anything. He just starts approaching me while I'm diving. Then the man just starts like diving with me, like looking at the things that I'm looking at. And then I just tell him about the snake and I just wish him good luck. And then I start walking away. Now me, I would never approach somebody that's diving out of respect, you know, like whatever they found they can keep. And also because they don't know me i don't know them and i don't know how the diver's gonna react so i always just like giving people their space uh i don't know that's just my opinion maybe i'm wrong let me know in the comments would you approach people while they're diving people that you don't know or would you just go to another dumpster and that's probably a reason why i don't like dumpster diving at night i've read in the comments that you guys suggest that i should give it a try but I just don't know how I would react. Maybe a little bit more defensive if somebody approaches me uh, when it's dark, you know, nighttime while I'm inside a dumpster. Luckily, this guy didn't have any bad intentions, but I just wouldn't approach somebody while they're diving because they're, um, I don't know, I, I just wouldn't. My advice to you is to dumpster dive during the day. Try to take a buddy if you can. Always be alert because again, it's a crazy world and you just never know. Be alert and be aware of your surroundings. But let me know in the comments if maybe I'm, I'm wrong and if maybe that's something that you've done or if it's happened to you how have you reacted and if you had any um, i guess bad experiences let me know in the comments so now i have enough snacks to put together in bundles in bags uh i'm gonna go ahead and deliver these to people that don't have homes i'm gonna bring you along with me since you told me in my previous video that you enjoyed coming along i totally forgot to put the monsters in the fridge so that's the reason why i'm not putting them inside these bags i want to make sure that they are very cold for whenever we do hand them out I know that what I'm doing here is something so small compared to the big problems that they have. But this guy right now is going to start dancing because he's so excited about the snacks that I brought him. <laughs> and it just goes to show you never know what these people are going through. And something so small as giving them snacks can actually make a big difference to them. Consider donating straight to people next time you donate. Okay, so remember all the books that we rescued from a dumpster? I'm about to go to meet somebody that's interested in buying all of them. Come with me. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay, that's cool. Got laid off for my job, so pretty much I just been uh, selling on eBay and locally. Let me show you that she already knows the sound. Okay, so Pablo's not around, but here's some footage of Marble eating her dumpster food. I've never actually had to buy uh, cat food. I always find bags and cans of cat food, so there's a lot of food out there for animals. I also found this workout vest next to the dumpster that had all the baby clothes. A lot of people use these to work out. Now, I think this is gonna be a good item to resell because it's very heavy and inside these pockets, it has weights. I just have to sanitize it better, clean it, make sure it looks great. And I'll probably take some pictures and resell it online. So here you have it. These are all the baby items that we found inside that one dumpster. It was, most of it was inside this bin, which I'm also gonna be keeping this bin because it helps me organize myself, even though it's a little bit broken from right here, but it still serves its purpose. I also wanted to show you this overall. I had never seen that McDonald's made uh, baby clothes. There's a couple of shoes. There's also a whole bunch of socks. There's more socks in there, uh, Tommy socks, and a lot of boys and girls clothes. It's mixed. Most likely I'm gonna sell these at my next yard sale. I feel like in the 90s or early 2000s, uh, this kind of decor was very popular. I may be incorrect, let me know in the comments. I'm not sure how much it's worth, but it's pretty heavy. And luckily it didn't get uh, broken when they tossed it into the dumpster. And uh, so yes, this is all the baby clothes that we rescued. Let me know in the comments if you would have picked this up. 
And again, I choose not to donate to thrift stores because I find a lot of baby clothes in their dumpsters. So it would defeat the purpose of what I do if I was to donate to the thrift store and then they toss it into a dumpster. I find a lot of baby clothes in thrift store dumpsters. Well, I'm gonna continue taking some pictures and organizing some of the finds, uh, seeing what can sell locally, what I can put on my eBay store. Remember that for more dumpster diving content, you can check out the description box of this video uh, as well as my eBay store and my <laughs> Instagram. Thank you so much for being here. You could be anywhere in the world, but you decided to be here with me and watch this video. And for that, I will always be thankful. I think we're safe now. As always, remember to sell your stuff or donate your stuff. The landfill already has way too much. It doesn't need any more. And remember to recycle. All the cool kids recycle and you are cool, so recycle. See you on the next time.